Hello everybody, this is Abraham with Northshark Computer Services and what we got here today is a Porsche Design external storage for Mac uh, which is basically just a regular hard drive um, that's enclosed in this Porsche Design square box. Let's see if we can open it. Uh, the reason that we want to open it is the connector is broken you can see that it's, it's pretty messed up now what I'm suspecting is inside is a hard drive that can be simply disconnected and used as SATA we're gonna use a surgical knife to see if we can get this open so I'm gonna go from the back and just jam it in there. Of course, they don't make it easy. They don't have to make it easy. There are no screws on here. This would be the only way to get in basically hmm. let's see if the front will pop off they certainly make it interesting I can see the guts inside, but it doesn't want to come off. I see. It looks like there are locks that hold the plastic in place. We don't want to do any more damage than we have to. I can see the hard drive and I can see the box. There's a lock over here. Looks like this thing is slid in from one side and it doesn't want to come out. What a battle! Is it really necessary? to do it this way. Come on people. Yeah, just like I thought it does slide in from one side and the locks are keeping them in place. So I'm thinking that the way to open this is to slide like a credit card in here, disengage the locks. See this side is moving and uh, that's how it goes. I did manage to cut myself so thank you for that. But it's a small superficial cut. 
let's get a knife and all right I'll just take the exacto and we are going to go through the top to see if we can disengage the lock. Hmm, it's not giving up. And I've actually re-engaged one of the locks. <clears throat> okay, I had to look and reorganize myself. So, here is how you open it. You jam a knife into the uh, top where the Porsche, Porsche design says and just pry it out like that. I thought that the locks were on top, but the locks are actually on the sides. Let's see. There you go. I didn't do any damage to the hard drive. I knew there was a hard drive that uh, if I was to do this, that would be bad. So you want to do it on the side where it says Porsche design. And you want to open it carefully just at the edge. Also, if you were to slide a thinner knife on the side, Okay, you could unlock, these are the locks right here. That's how it's done. So if you see something that says Porsche design, run. Because just like Porsche cars, they're not made to be repairable. Looks like there is a, a little, uh, ground uh, thingy connector that got messed up but no big deal really no damage to the hard drive didn't jam the knife deep enough small damage to my finger but overall a survivor it's the first time I'm doing this first time ever I had no idea how these things are put together so to recap the locks are on the side of where it says Porsche design two sides you just jam something like this in there an exacto knife and on both sides and then push it out that'll disengage the locks to continue we're going to remove the Phillips screwdrivers I'm sorry screws <coughs> and free our hard drive from the grips of this monstrous Porsche design ugliness oh huh. can't remove it just yet gotta remove two more screws or at least one let's see so we got one gotta remove this tape okay now it comes out. now we have warranty void as if it 
wasn't void, we could come to Porsche and say, hey, your design sucks. It broke because you're not using anything original, like maybe on Porsche cars, but just simple standard connectors. And this standard connector broke completely. So we have our hard drive. Uh, doesn't look like it was dropped. So we're going to see if we could recover stuff from it. All right. So I got my trusty Mac. And uh, as you can see, inside of a Porsche design is a regular cheap Seagate hard drive. Um, and Seagates are prone to really, really bad performance. And this is doesn't have a name. So also, so this thing can be bought online for like I don't know a dollar. A hard drive, this used hard drive, could be bought for maybe twenty bucks. And this makes it a very expensive item. $200. All right, enough of that. We're going to take an adapter, SATA to USB, plug it in. Come on. Let me turn off the light. Okay, we got old Mac. Let's, let's see if this will work. Sounds good. Looks good. Here is our hard drive mounted properly. So there are really no issues with the hard drive. Just the connector on the Porsche design. Porsche design. This thing is heavy. Heavy. All right. Thanks for watching. If this helps somebody, give me likes, subscribe, enjoy, and save money.